Hi everyone. So today we are going to discuss about uh, one of the new feature or one of the, the feature called as a ascent data access set for business users. So let's get into PPT. Yeah. So this is the task and the model is general ledger navigation that we'll see in application ones. So the business use case. Generally, when you hired new resources into a client, so it says that like there are two or three accountants joined the organization where you will be assigning the roles and then assign the data access for them, right? So if you, there is one user out there, then we can assign the data access set through manually, right? To access the data access set page. But if there is multiple users are there where we need to provide data access set to across all the business users at one shot, as I would say in other way, bulkly. So at that time, there is a solution given by Oracle by using spreadsheet. So by using spreadsheet at one time, we can provide access to the multiple business users by selecting the, the security context and the security context values accordingly. So let's get into the application. We'll see that how to perform this use case. So for testing purpose, I have created two business users. One is Raja and second is Pooja. So Raja has two roles here, which is general accountant and accounting manager. And similarly, Pooja also has same kind of roles. So now we have to provide data access to these two users. So how can you achieve that? Go to application, set up on maintenance, functional area, general ledger, all tasks, task name is manage data access set, data access for users, click on that. So this is the page where we can give the access to business users by clicking plus symbol individually. So now our requirement is bulkly how we should provide the access. So in that case, you can use authorized data access, which is nothing but as a spreadsheet. This particular spreadsheet is associated with the, your present jail application within the Oracle. Click and open. Click on S, provide user credentials, who is going to provide the access as an implementation consultant role. Sign in. Skip. It will download the data for us. Yeah, it is invoking action. Yeah, this is the page where we are landing into the access providing the page. So first you can see what are the columns are available here. Changed status. These two things can be used after we providing the all the data and click on upload. It will get uh, it will display the status once we upload the data and security context, security context value username, role, and active. So these are the five columns we have to populate the data. View data access. This is something Oracle has given some sample data in order to understand easy way. Yeah, security context value two, three, and username and role. So now as part of my requirement, I have to GL accountant and accounting managers where already I have given the roles to them. So now I would like to add, I mean to say, provide the access to them. Security context is nothing but I want to give data access set for them. Select data access set from list of values. And so as part of 
uh, ad apd or spreadsheet whenever you see open closing bracket then there is a list of availables uh, I mean, it's a list of values are available in the particular column so to get those things click on place the cursor on the cell and double click it will invoke the data from the list of values so here select which business users i mean to say which which primary ledger we want to provide the access yes search Yes, primary sorry, yes, primary ledger. Select, say okay, and username. What is the username? Raja. That's all. And what is the role name? General accounting manager and general accountant. So get from that here. Yeah, this is the one take this role name paste here and active state is yes active similarly insert one more row which are needed click on insert copy paste same copy paste again from here and puja same role i want to give select status is active insert one more row primary ledger and the username is puja here general accounting manager so search for that Active status, yes. So once you provide details in this fashion, so likewise you can add a number of users and then provide the which are the security context to provide them. So once you feel everything is perfectly correct here, and then just scroll on this one, go to authorized data access for users. Click on that. There is a tab called a upload. Once you click on uh, click on upload tab, the system will take into the place to provide the access in the application. Click on upload. So notice here, status showing as a row inserted successfully. Let's go back to application. Select user with the data access give the username puja click on search see here so this is how we can provide the access to business users at any point of time this spreadsheet can be used when we have the multiple business users to provide the data access set so this is how you can use this spreadsheet that is all about this feature. Thanks for watching my video. Please do subscribe, like and share. Thank you.